I think we're ready to record a review. Whoa. World record. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm not going crazy. You're the crazy one. Now, how long has it been? couple of months. Not sorry, I've had other things to do. Eat shit, I've been busy. Crazy shit happened, so while I was gone, someone murdered the queen. That's the only topical reference that you're gonna get in this video because I'm actually here to discuss the new jockstrap record, I love you, Jennifer B. Where would I Jennifer B without you? Um, yeah. So on this this new jockstrap record, I've, I've kind of caught wind of this group back when they released their Wicked City EP back in 2020. I actually have to thank Injury Reserve for, for shouting this group out, not Fantano. Loved how bizarre, kind of kooky, just like... Oh, I, 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 off the wall, a lot of their productions were. Georgia Ellery, uh, the, the uh, violinist and... Uh, one of the many members of Black Country New Road uh, fronts this, uh, this, this duo. And Taylor Sky, I don't know what his affiliations are with anything, but he's the electronic part of this group. You have traditional instrumentation and you have modern bleepy bloopy instrumentation and that coalesces into something that makes total sense. I, I do think that this group really does just pick up where they left off uh, of, uh, on their last EP, but now on this new... Can you tell I've not done this for a while? So, this record starts with a bang, uh, neon. Fantastic, fantastic opener. Plush chords and acoustic guitar. Don't let that fool you. The song gets a little wacky uh, as it goes on. Pitch is one of the most blaring and brittle instrumental passages on the entire record at like the midway point of this track. Brightens up towards the end with some uh, soaring guitar leads and some strings kind of matching up with the vocal melody. Greatest Hits features a pretty simple, dusty kind of hip hop beat with some steady piano chords over the top, a gorgeous string arrangement to top it off, angelic vocal and string harmonies on the back end. Other subtle bits of electronics kind of skip over the track too. And it was by the time we got to this track that I that I realized, yeah, this this just this just works. <laughs> What's it all about is weirdly kind of like a Norman fucking Rockwell era Lana Del Rey song in influence. Just kind of in the way that the broke swells of strings and uh, guitar and piano chords kind of sit upon this very swaying beat. Uh, it's it's a fantastic moment and it, on its influences do not do it a disservice. Concrete Over Water starts with some really weepy synth chords and a super uh, coy performance from Georgia. Uh, some distant chants and hand percussion lead us into the sort of second portion of the track. We get some chaotic synthesizer runs, anthemic drumming. The song kind of repeats this formula with a pretty mesmerizing outro. It's uh, it's a satisfying experience. Deborah is a nimble left field little electronic dance cut. Bouncy plucks and angular synth leads, syncopated snare hits. The Bollywood-esque strings add yet another kooky quality to the whole mix. Jockstrap at their brilliant best. On Glasgow, the persistent beat and robust guitar chords kind of make me feel like I'm listening to something off Taylor Swift's um, Folklore and Evermore era. Even the vocals and storytelling are giving off some real Swifty vibes. Some of the studio trickery kind of sets it apart and makes it more unique to Jockstrap. The arrangements here are just so rich and they just hit such an elegant stride. It's, it's Beautiful! Lancaster Court, my favourite ballad on this record, the waltzing guitars and slightly whispery vocal performance uh, giving me some real Phoebe Bridges influence. The quiet additions of flute and other little digitised embellishments just make it so that it doesn't sound like just another folky singer-songwriter cut, like it's very unique to Jockstrap. And we get yet another 180 stylistically on the closing track here, 50-50. This is an extended mix of the uh, single that they released last year of the same name, same beats. A future of house to come ordeal, if you will, where a stack of mind-melting, choppy vocal loops and bustling, bassy beats coalesce into a pretty psychedelic five minutes. Some of the very sharp textile percussion is kind of uh, giving me a bit of a hyperpop feel, like in the same vein as like a Sophie or a Charlie XEX. Sounds like something Nicholas Jar would produce during an impromptu DJ set 
It's <gasps> God, what a good record this is. This is the this is the debut album. This is the this is their first full-length record. There were a couple of moments that I didn't really care for in this album, like Jennifer B, the tiresome, uh, kind of boring vocal samples get really tedious after a while, and so does that freaking string melody. Even the beat itself doesn't have much presence, it doesn't really offer much of a groove. Uh, I guess the lyricism on this track is pretty intriguing, though that's kind of the case for every song on this album. I could spend a whole half an hour talking about the lyrics on this thing. It would be much quicker for me to just kind of flash up some favorites. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there with the with the audio. The audio is being a bit weird, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out when I'm editing. Yay. Yeah, what, what an amazing debut record. Like, sensationally produced, performed, written, structured, everything about it. So beautiful, versatile, but consistent. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that this thing is a, is a 9.0. I'm gonna give it a 9.0 out of 10. Let me know what you thought about. Let me know what this album uh, does for you. Did this album improve your quality of life? Did it awaken something within you that you never knew was even there to begin with? Did it make you so angry and so disgusted, so sick to your stomach that it made you want to puke everywhere, all over yourself and all over the album? I'm really worried about that audio now. Jesus. I anticipate a l big, long, crying session whilst doing so. This is us coming together for a mutual love of jock straps. Like, sub. I will ask you to comment, uh, Rip Queen, just to keep up with the times. <laughs> I'm gonna end it there because I've said enough. I can already hear them coming after me. I can hear the scraping in my walls. Goodbye. Goodbye.